Hi there. Welcome to a passage and a poem. We're in the lead up to Easter this year. I want to invite you to spend a few minutes with me as I read a passage from the Bible that will take us towards Easter and lead us to the empty tomb. And I'm reading a poem, a short poem that will lift our spirits and draw us closer to Jesus. A passage and a poem. The passage is from John's Gospel, and today I want to read John chapter 13, verses 21 to 32. Now this is the incident where Jesus predicts his betrayal. So perhaps follow along with me. John chapter 13, verses 21 to 32. Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified, Very truly I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another, at a loss to know which of them he meant. One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter mentioned to this disciple and said, Ask him which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it into the dish. Then, dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, What you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. But since Judas had charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival, or to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out. It was night. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. This is a passage that contains a sign, and that sign follows on from what we might call a scripture. The scripture is Psalm 41 verse 9, which is mentioned in verse 18, which Jesus quotes as he predicts his death, and which leads to the incident that we've just read. That scripture, Psalm 41 verse 9, leads to the sign, the sign in which the one whom sharing the bread with Jesus is revealed to be the traitor. And we know his name now, Judas. Read it again for yourself and spot the sign. So that's today's passage, now today's poem. Once again, courtesy of Graham Oaks, it alludes to another meal. It's called Another Meal. The comfort of a meal with friends and joy that shared of life restored. The selfish glare of one who sees this fragrance poured upon the Lord. The false regard for social norms, pretending he for others cares. The sacrifice of self and worth, as she, the burial rite, observes. Another meal will bring it home, the last one shared before he dies. New covenant in bread and wine prepares them for the sweet sunrise. God bless you.